this stuff should be illegal. Hi, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to smoke your ribs using a method of three, two, one. It's the easiest thing ever. All you have to do is just follow these instructions. I guarantee you can't mess this up. Now, before we begin, I'd like to ask you, please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, set for alerts, so next time you can get notified. Next time we'll provide a new video to you. Now here, we have a slab of baby ribs, two of them actually. Uh, should be enough for a nice sized family, and the recipe is super easy. First thing we need to do is use these two rubs. Now, you can choose different rubs. I happen to like apple wood and sweet and smoky. There are plenty of barbecue rubs that you can choose from. All we're going to do is apply them generously. Generously, uh, don't worry, you're not going to overdo it, to every side of these ribs. We'll start with sweet and smoky. And just go into it. Now, some people will say just pat it down. I, I make love to it. You want to really rub it in so it sticks. We don't really use any liquids. You know, I know some people, for example, use apple juice to make sure that uh, this rub stays on it. I think if the, if the meat is moist enough, it will as is. Here we go. Let's use this apple wood. Here it comes. You don't want it all over your table. Now we flip. Repeat the process. Make sure cover all the areas. There's the other one. As you can see, there's nothing to it, guys. Really nothing to it. Flip this guy. I'm telling you, a three-year-old can make this. And now, all we have to do is make love to it. We go in. You don't want anything dry left on this slab. Just rub it in. Another great part about this, there's no marinating in this recipe. There's just no marinating, there's nothing. So if you're in a rush to make ribs without doing, you know, or putting in much effort to it, this is the best recipe you can find. Here we go. There's another one. Just wanna make sure everything goes in. Cover your sides, because chances are you're gonna be biting there as well. Now, as far as the apple juice, I find it very helpful, just not in this step. Once this thing is on the grill, I do use a little bit of apple juice to just spray it to keep it moist. Now, as you can see, they're nicely done from a rub perspective. Nothing crazy, super easy, only took us a few seconds. Now we're going to place it in our trigger to smoke them. If you don't have a smoker, you can just use a regular grill, but, but use indirect heat, right? So don't, don't put it right over the heat, light up your side burners, and then put the meat directly in between the keys to keep it at 225 first three hours after three hours we're going to take it out we're going to wrap it we're going to introduce additional in ingredients that i'm about to show you and then place it back for another two hours and then after two hours we're going to apply apricot barbecue sauce and then leave it there for another hour and then we're done that's why it's called three two one Three hours on its own, two hours wrapped, and then one hour in the sauce. I think we're ready to uh, place them into the tracker and forget about them for the next three hours. Now, if I only had a 
paper towel. That would be great. That's ah, okay. We'll get a little messy. There's one. There's another. Three hours. Well, it's been almost uh, three hours and we're coming up on the clock and we need to make the second step preparation before we take the ribs out. And that is creating a, a special wrap. We're not just gonna wrap them in foil and place them back. We're gonna put some stuff into these. And it's rather simple. We're gonna go back to sweet and smoky and create a strip. So this time we're gonna create, uh, we're gonna place the meat uh, facing down so it gets into these um, spices. Because remember, the original spices, they were all absorbed into the meat in the last three hours of cooking. So, because we got two slabs of meat, I'm using double foil here, uh, just to protect the meat. Now, we use uh, sweet and smoky. Now, the second step here is to use brown sugar bourbon. Gives a nice flavor as well. All this stuff, folks, is available at your local supermarket. There's nothing fancy schmancy here. Of course, you can use any brand, uh, pretty much any spice that you like, but I find these to be most efficient. Next step is honey. You have to have a little bit of honey on your ribs. It gives it this nice, sweet taste, and when you pair it up with the smoke that you get from your smoker, Eh, why not? Another line. Here we go. I love drawing with honey. Here we go. For the second one. As you can see, you don't need much, but just enough to cover the area where your ribs are going to be placed. And the almost final step is we need a little bit of butter. We're going to take some butter and we're going to place it right on top of this thing. This is what you call secret ingredient. All of this is gonna melt and it's gonna be absorbed and form a crust on the top of your rib. I'm getting hungry just by preparing this stuff. Now, once I'm done with this butter, we're gonna place the ribs in here. We're gonna wrap them. And once we wrap them, before we close them up all the way, we're gonna pour some apple juice in here. Also, another sort of a secret ingredient that comes from experience, but does an excellent job. All right, so there you have it. Again, we have uh, sweet and smoky in here. We have bourbon brown sugar, honey, and we have uh, butter. As you can see, our timer just went off. We're exactly three hours on the dot, and it's time to place our ribs and wrap them up. Here they are. Not as pretty yet, because we still got work to do, but look at that back, it's perfect. Same thing here, like that. Now, as we close this up, I have some you know, regular apple juice in here. And that's what's going inside to build this up. So when you close it, when you wrap, please don't make any holes because you want the juice to go inside and stay inside. It will keep the ribs moist and we close same thing with this guy raise it up so 
sort of making like a funnel, like a little juice bed. And we're gonna go with the juice. And we don't need to destroy anymore. Don't worry, you can't put too much. Anything extra that goes in here will go into the smoker. So you can't do too much, don't worry about it. I'm gonna waste this container because I have no other purpose for it anyway. Here we go. Close it up. And it goes meat down. When we did it the first time, it was meat up. Now it's gonna be meat down. We're keeping the temperature at 225. And we'll be back in two hours. See you then. And we're now coming up on two hours where we uh, fold up our ribs. So it's time to take them out and do the third step. Remember, we did the three hours open, two hours wrap, and now we're gonna do one hour with our sauce. Uh, I feel like this is the best combination. It's the apricot from Churger. Obviously, you can use your own, but uh, in my opinion, I think it works uh, probably the best with these ribs. Let's take them out, unwrap them, use the sauce, and place them back without a rub for another hour. Here we go, oh, they're looking good, they're so good. Here's one, here's the other. There's so much juice inside. I almost feel bad for unwrapping them, but this is, uh, this is what we gotta do. Look how much juice there is. Here we go. not burned you see how nice this is mm, 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 mm. here's the other one there we go now we generously you know what let me shake it now we generously cover now Within the next 60 minutes, I will come out at least once to resurface. Basically, I will use this sauce again and reapply because it will dry out a little bit. It will not stay this moist for the next 60 minutes. So. You definitely want to reapply. As, as you can see, the recipe is relatively easy. There's not much involvement. If you have a smoker or if you have a, a grill where you can uh, maintain a low temperature, because remember, these ribs, it's all going back to low and slow, right? They're, they're you know, you're cooking them at 225. So, that's why I'm able to sort of almost grab them with my hands. They're not that hot, but that's where timing takes place. Because you're smoking them for six hours. Look how pretty that is. Okay, guys. I think we're ready to, uh, to place them back. But this time we're doing it without a wrap. Here we go. Put this back up. And here's the other. Look how much juice there is. Look at that. Mm. And it's back in for 60 minutes. So. I'll see you in 60 minutes. Our ribs should, rib should be ready. We're going to cut them up. Try them. 
Hope you like it. Uh, meantime, if you got nothing else to do, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we'll be right back. See you. Well, folks, we're now coming up on that hour of where we had the ribs open up. I did uh, brush them a few times throughout this hour. But, uh, you know, uh, this is usually done to just keep the moisture on the inside. I think we're ready to take them out. And the last thing to do is just, uh, you know, dig in and see how it works out. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Wow. They are beautiful. Look at these ribs. You know what? The six hour wait is definitely worth it. Ta da! All right, now we gotta cut them up. Let's see how it looks inside. Look at that. I hope you can see it in the camera real nice. It's hot. As you can see also right here, the key is it's not burned, right? So it's smoked, but it's not burned. Let's cut this up. By the way, it's a lot easier to cut when you flip because you can see exactly where the ribs are. You don't have to, you know, it sort of takes the guesswork out of it. All right, here we go, guys. So, look at that. Look at that color. Look at that smoke penetrating. Mm. Look at that. Look at that glaze that worked out. You see? You see that different color, the bone color, and then the smoke color penetrating. All right, guys, I'm going in. I'm going in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sweet crust, smoky, comes right, to, right off the bone. Hot, very yeah, hot. Ah. Messy, I'm sure. I got stuff all over my face right now. I don't care. Look at that. Look at that bone. Fully cooked. Coming right off the wall. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's ribs. Even though it's six hour wait time, with not that much work, they're amazing. They're truly amazing. These ribs will make anyone happy. And I mean anyone. Until next time, be well, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you. This stuff should be illegal. <laughs>